Look, I'm gonna admit, I'm a very sexually adventurous individual, and I'm all about your own fetishes, whatever it is that you're into, as long as it doesn't harm other people, as long as those involved are consensual, and the whole situation's fine. I'm, I'm okay with what you do in the privacy of your own home, okay? Whatever you want to do to your body and your mind in the privacy of your own home, I think that's covered by the Bill of Rights. I really do. Liberty, life, the pursuit of happiness, that's covered right there. Anytime government tries to intervene, you know, I'm right there with you guys to defend your right to do that. And your right to really be as weird as you want to be. It's your mind. It's your body. Do what the hell you want, my fellow weirdos. Okay, well, I came across an article about a fetish I had never heard of, and I think it's <laughs> outstanding. <laughs> it might be the weirdest thing ever. Uh, meet the citizens that have pony fetishes. And uh, <laughs> they dress up like horses and ponies, and they do uh, showcases, and they do a, a pony show, and they jump around. <laughs> Just like you see a horse show, like a horse jumping contest, this kind of shit. Same thing, but people dress up and do this. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't even know if this is sexual, but it's just weird in general. Uh, <laughs> a team of, quote, normal taxpaying citizens uh, spend their weekends horsing around in full pony fetish wear and compete for prizes. Oh, they wear everything from mouth gags, face masks, to latex, leather, fishnets, whips and chains. They're, they're called the Ponies on the Delta Club, and they compete in show jumping events dressed in head to toe horse gear. <laughs> horse gear. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> so we gotta find out more. Oh, you better bet, you better believe that I'm Googling uh, you know, <laughs> Ponies on the Delta videos after this, and you should too. Let's get a laugh here. This is the one thing I can't give you on the, uh, on the Weird AF News yet is the. Um, <laughs> I can't, well, on my YouTube video, you could probably. Eventually, if I get a team of people, we could like clip a video from it and put it in there. I could have high production value, but right now I'm just it's just a one man show here, so it's a one man pony show, guys. Hey, this group of individuals is in New Orleans, Louisiana. They can and um, on the weekends they play. They love to play. Uh, they strap on their stirrups and they and their saddles for two days of pony play. <laughs> they meet twice a year to live out their pony fantasy as they compete in several disciplines to crown. The top nag. Oh my God! You gotta see the pictures. This is ridiculous. They put a little horse face on their on their mouth on their over their mouth, like a little horse nose, and horse ears strapped to their head, and then the rest of their body is dressed like the gimp. I mean, this is just so bizarre. Is there sex going on here? I don't understand this. this is the is the horse orgy happening after hours? Navigating their way through obstacle courses, show jumping, and even a pony tug of war. <laughs> Some of the more mischievous mares carry their masters in a cart, physically whipping them into shape as they traverse around the course. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, they interview one of these equestrian-loving weirdos, they say, <laughs> and uh, he said, these events are very competitive, much like how a regular horse show should be. By the way, that person's name is Joey Warhorse. <laughs> Joey Warhorse. I guess you even gotta really take on the names as well. Joey Warhorse says, We end up with crashes, records broken, and plenty of slips as people attempt the jumps. The competition gets pretty crazy sometimes. Oh, look at this picture. Look at these people. This, these pictures are amazing, by the way. Oh, my God, this guy. Oh, man. Our, our outfits that we make are based off of bio-horse equipment or made from actual horse equipment that's been rearranged to fit human beings. <laughs> it can get pretty costly, so people are very proud of the horse outfits that they put together. <laughs> There's another guy named Pony Wynn who enjoys deviating from the obstacle courses. Pony Wynn says, when I'm in pony play, I'm pretty free and wild. <laughs> I enjoy kicking the cart and giving my rider, my rider a really hard time so they have to try and get us to obey. I'm free. I run around. I gallop. I jump. I nuzzle. <laughs> Oh, and I get the head scratches, too. I scratch my head against things. Oh, my God. <laughs> Another person added, you got to believe us. Uh, once we put on the gear, we actually turn into horses. Do you? You actually turn into horses, you nutcases. You don't actually turn into horses. In your mind, you turn into horses. But on the, the outsiders that are watching, the spectators, you're not horses. You're just a bunch of people being weird. Uh, so, hey, you say what you want, but you're not a real horse, okay? <laughs> And I'm not going to go out there and, um, and fight for you to have horse public restrooms made for you either. 
which seems to be the, the trend in our culture. Hey, whatever you feel like being, uh, we got a bathroom for you. Well, not for horse people, okay? I'm sorry. Not this year anyways. Maybe in 2080. <laughs> Another quote from uh, Rain Wynn. When I put the bit in my mouth, it's like a ritual. <laughs> it gets me in the right horsey headspace. <laughs> I can feel through the bit that I actually change from a human to a horse. What are you, crazy? You do not change into a horse. What are you talking about here? All right? It's about expressing your inner personality. Well, your inner personality is not a horse. I don't care what kind of drugs you are, you're on. It's not, an, it's not a horse. It's not. This is a fantasy that you pulled from the outside reality. <laughs> okay? You're imitating an, an exterior uh, reality and playing a role. Your inner voice isn't saying you're a horse. I'm sorry. Okay? And you don't get horse insurance. <laughs> When you get the chance to come out here and enjoy what you're doing while being around others doing the same thing, it gives you the freedom to be totally weird. Well, I agree with that, and I'm all for that. Uh, being weird, expressing however weird you want to be, go right ahead and do it, all right? You're spending good money on these, these, these horse, this horse uh, clothing. I don't even know what it is. The horse, horsey accoutrement. You're spending good money on that. You probably paid a fee. You have to rent a piece of land and buy straw. <laughs> are you really eating straw, though? I'd like to see that. That's what they're not saying in this article. What are you guys eating? If you really are a horse for the day, I want to see you eating straw, you dipshit. <laughs> yeah, how horse are you? Okay, are you eating straw? I want to see that. <laughs> you turning down a hamburger to be a horse? I want to know. <laughs> oh, man, you got to love the weirdos. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, um... Please uh, uh, subscribe to my podcast, the audio version of the podcast, which you can do so by clicking on the link in the description. Uh, if you're listening to this podcast on the podcast and not watching the YouTube video, you're missing out because I'm, I'm wearing a horse outfit right now. <laughs> and I'm whipping myself. Whoosh, whoosh, ha! Ha! <laughs> Giddy up, Jonesy! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not doing anything. But I do have my shirt off because it's hot as balls in Los Angeles right now. And uh, it's very, very hot in my apartment. So please uh, think about, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel as well. The link is in the description of the podcast. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. It's Friday. Um, and uh, if you want to call me over the weekend, feel free. You have the number. But in case you don't, it's 646-450-2012. Feel free to email me, funnyjones at gmail.com. Or reach out to me on the social medias at funnyjones. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.